Today on 21st Century Business, explore state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, insights from cutting-edge corporations around the globe, a visionary look into the answers of tomorrow today. Business leaders, business solutions, 21st Century Business. Today's most high-tech industries, such as medical, nuclear, aerospace, automotive, and microwave, require precision photochemical etching of exotic metals, such as titanium and zirconium. And as new technologies emerge, the demands are ever-increasing. Joining us to discuss meeting these demands is Chip Lehrer, president of Photo Fabrication Engineering Incorporated, a company also known as PEI. Welcome, Chip. Oh, thanks, Jackie. Glad to be here. He is joined by PEI's marketing director, Brooke Spaulding. Thanks to you, too, for being here, Brooke. A real pleasure. Thank you, Jackie. So, Chip, as president of PEI, tell us who PEI is and what it provides. Well, Jackie, PEI is a manufacturer of photochemically machined metal parts, also known as photo etching or metal etching. So instead of using alternate um, methods of producing metal parts, like stamping and machining, we're simply profiling our parts using chemistry. Hmm. Matter of fact, I brought a business card with me, which is etched, and it actually shows some of the parts that we do. This card has been etched at stainless steel, and as you can see, it's got a few different designs on the bottom. Mm -hmm. But these parts simply represent the parts that we currently produce in new emerging technologies. Give us examples of some specific uses for photochemical metal etching. We're in industries as diverse as automotive, aerospace, fuel cells, we're even up in the uh, stratosphere with satellites. Um, anywhere that someone's looking for a precise, lightweight, high precision part, the photochemical process works and PEI is behind it. What types of metals do you etch and how difficult is this? Well, it really depends on the chemistry as far as difficulty, but once you have the chemistry in play, you certainly can etch just about every metal. But we also have uh, technology within our building to etch more uh, exotic types of metals like titanium, molybdenum. And a lot of companies out there don't necessarily have that capability, but because we're so involved in new technologies like hydrogen fuel cell technology, we have to have that capability, Jackie. Mm. Let's take a look at the people, engineering, and innovation of PEI in this 21st Century Business Field Report. Photo Fabrication Engineering, or PEI, was founded in 1968 specifically to provide high-precision chemically machined metal parts. PEI has an excellent reputation. Uh, they know our business. They service us well. Their costs are very competitive, and they're understanding of our supply chain and our business is just key to help us grow our business. Customers will find significant advantages to working with PEI on prototype, short run, or major production quantities. What PEI offers us is uh, flexibility, short lead times, excellent quality product, and allows us to uh, maximize our, our own manufacturing capability. Their process, truly the ultimate blend of art and technology, results in no burrs, no stresses, and the ability to machine to precise depths. For 21st Century Business, I'm Steve Michaels reporting. How does it differ from other metal processing technologies? One of the exciting things, Jackie, with photochemical etching is there's no physical contact between two pieces of metal or tooling. Literally, the chemicals do the work. It creates the ability to finish a piece with no deformation, there's no change in magnetic properties, and there are no burrs. Hmm. So in addition to being able to machine lightweight and very thin materials, we offer other advantages to other types of, of machine finishing. It seems PEI is certainly well positioned to take on the demands of these high-tech industries and emerging technologies. So thanks to both of you for sharing your expertise. Oh, thanks, Jackie, for having us. It's been a great pleasure. Thanks, Jackie.